Oh goodness. This is nice too. Gotta love the blood red seats. Very clean looking cars here today. Appreciate everybody coming in. There is a grand sport as well. And then if you guys like the uh, Stingray versions, the Stingrays look good too. This is gonna be a newer one. I think I've seen this one before. 6.2 liter. Oh, this one actually is a 2018 model. Gorgeous looking Stingray though. They really made a difference in what they look like. 67 Malibu. It's a 327, 350 horse. Ah, they look so small to be able to have that kind of horsepower too. It's nice, very nice, very clean. Wow, it's another pretty color. James McGee, thank you for the follow. It's gonna be a 68. Camaro SS 425 horsepower on a 454. Holy smokes, this thing will freaking get. It's on the regular Craigers. Looks it's like it's got 12 inch wheels and tires in the back. Probably about eights in the front. This thing is gorgeous looking too. Wow, this is a very sharp looking car. Four speed. Alrighty, this is a white knight. This is going to be 67 Chrysler Newport. I've seen this one before. It's about the only car I've seen several times before. Not a very, not a very common car for for this show, I'm sure. From Evansville, Indiana. 34 Ford Coupe. Gotta love the 34 Ford Coupe. Bet that car is rare. Yeah, I don't see Newports at all. That's the only one I ever see for Newport. That is definitely a rare car to me. Three years of car showing, and that's the only Newport I've ever seen. Ford Coupe looks pretty sharp. And you got a El Camino. Everybody gotta love the El Caminos. Anybody can tell me what year this is. I am not familiar with that. I'm gonna say 68 El Camino, maybe 71, something like that. It's gonna be early. Where am I at? I am Marion, Kentucky. Marion, Kentucky. Then you got the silver, gorgeous 69 Chevelle. This thing is super clean. Probably the best, cleanest looking car here today. I guarantee it. This thing is super sharp. Ah, this thing looks good. Very sharp. Oh, I know. Beautiful. The rev wheels. I don't think I've seen those kind of wheels before either. Got the bar automatic shift. That's what I call it. I think you guys will probably have a better name for it than that, but I am. This thing is super awesome. <laughs> Frame off restoration, metallic silver, black interior, 454 Holly four barrel, headers with Flowmaster dual exhaust, chrome tips, 350 turbo on the transmission, 15 by 7 and 15 by 8 inch wheels. Goodness gracious. This thing is super clean. You can eat off this thing. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get he's gonna get first place for oh 67 uh is that for the that's for the El Camino. I was gonna say it's gotta be 60s, early 70s. I, I just don't remember what year that came out. Alrighty, as we move on to the back row of cars from the show, there's over a hundred cars here. Everybody just coming in, feel free to tap the screen, comment if you like what you see. Give me a follow. Welcome to Keith's Live. Marion, Kentucky. We are in Kentucky today. And about an hour and a half from here is a cruise in that I will be out live again as well this evening. 
uh, approximately about 5, 5.30 Central Time. And I got a puzzle piece to match up. Always got to love the puzzle piece when you go live. This is the guy that's hosting the show. This is his uh, build on an S10. That's an interesting build. Freaks of nature, baby. DeLorean at a car show? No, but there is some in my hometown. There is one that keeps traveling around. I see it quite a bit. Rose, thanks for the follow. <laughs> thanks for the share, Esteban. All righty, let's move on. Looks like we got some S10s here. Different years. Uh, this one here, I've probably seen that at many trucking nationals in North Carolina. This one here is a 2000. Single cab. Automatic. US mag wheels. Overall, nice looking Chevy S10. I like the color. It's a flat blue. And you got some multicolor uh, S10. Looks like they're red, white, and blue, black, and gray. <laughs> it's definitely different. <laughs> but I have to tell you what, it's pretty awesome to see. It's a 1996 2.2 on airbags. Where to say it? This is Marion, Kentucky. Marion, Kentucky. We'll be in Kentucky all day. Uh, this one, this one's been to uh, many trucking nationals and camp and drag as well. I don't remember seeing it in uh, North Carolina this year though. Many trucking. And you got the square body, the S10. Can't forget that. Oh, he's got a V8 in this thing. He's got a little power in this thing. This one here's a '93 350 V8. I'll tell you what, he made it here and that's all that matters to me. I will show it off. Running, engine running is the modified dirt car. I'll show that here in the jiffy. Step side S10 with a, the shaker hood. This one here is a 99 Chevrolet S10. All set up. No American. Yeah, I'm in Kentucky. Um, yeah, I didn't see it until the last minute, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go. So I've not been to this show. This is the first time. There's class for for the mini trucks. There's class for low rider mini truck, and uh, there's classes for uh, decades. And so I figured I'd give my shot at this one at this show here this GMC on airbags that's gorgeous love it dude love it Thank you. you're welcome nice red interior it's a nice looking GMC pickup rhino liner lead spray on air. It's a nice looking jet. Where at in Kentucky? This is Marion. Marion, Kentucky. This is uh, towards the, this is west side of Kentucky. West end of Kentucky. All right. Got this one here. Huh? Yep. <laughs> You're low. <laughs> I mean, it, that's how it is. I mean, that's how it is nowadays. You can't call it a mini, you know. You can't call it a full size. It, what is it? Full size on airbags? That's what. I mean, that's a lot of words. So just make it mini truck. Digital? Yeah. Oh yeah. Still looks good. Were you in North Carolina this year? Okay. And you got this one here. This one is actually for sale. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not going to touch that tag on the, on the windshield. 
but it says for sale. Let me see if I can find a price. Seventy five hundred. It's a ninety seven Chevy. 1500 he wants 7500 dollars for it if anybody's in or interested i can get you a phone number that's not too far i wish i had known i'm in henderson yeah uh, i went through henderson from indiana to get down here so um yeah i was about i'm about an hour from henderson yeah on 60 and i'll travel 60 all the way through henderson get back to henderson and take uh, uh audubon parkway to owensboro this evening and uh do the uh, tonight uh, Ritzy's show on the east end of Owensboro, Kentucky. I'll be live for that as well. This evening, there are probably 60, 80 cars, something like that up there. This one's over 100, so there's more cars here today than there is in the cruise end. Okay, more door prizes. Uh, Dustin Taylor, number 85. This one's gorgeous looking. Very clean. Number Might hit that one too. Yeah, Owensboro at four o'clock on on 54 Highway 54. The uh, Ritzies cruise in. That's it this evening. This is gorgeous looking. Holy crap! I love this. Extremely clean, guys. Extremely. That's nice. That's a very, very nice Chevy truck. All righty. You fans for the uh, Nissan 240ZXs, here you go. You don't see too many uh, 240ZXs around. SX. Okay, this was a 240XS. SX. Can you say that right? Yes, and, and a girl drove this one up in today. You got this one too as well, carbon fiber hood. This is a 240SX. Five point harness, a row cage, sort of a row cage. <laughs> fire extinguisher in there as well it's a nice looking uh their their headlights come back their car lights come back so here's a 95 okay um this would be what's considered the u.s spec jdm's where you live yeah yeah there's not too many out that's why i do car shows like i try to do every weekend two to three shows if not four four or five shows on the on a three-day weekend anyway and well, we do get three-day weekends, and I'm hitting up car car shows from out of the out of the range of in the realm of where I live. That way, I can see different and, and new styles of cars and cars I haven't seen before at car shows. Uh, I've been hitting too many local car shows. I see the same thing over and over, and I'm ready to see something new. So that's why I travel travel two and a half hours just to see this one today. Yeah. yeah, Riddlers. That's a nice looking Camaro. They don't matter. I, I get more. I get more torque with these smaller, low-profile tires. I can get on. Then you got just Silverado C10. American Racing Wheels looks fantastic, guys. This looks good. Gorgeously clean. Blind. Bed spray. Ah, this looks good, boys and girls. Love this. Love the square bodies, too, as well. Not too many square bodies out and about, but when you do you get to see one, they are looking good. It's an 87 square body. It's really good, really good. I'm still going to vote that the uh, Silver Chevelle is going to win the freaking best of show here. I think this is gorgeous. Plymouth Fury. Okay, I didn't even, it didn't even look like a Plymouth Fury there for a minute. It's a cool truck. I hope it wins. You hope that, well, that C10 has got a chance just like everybody else does, but man, that Chevelle is just super clean. Gotta love the uh, the blanket seats. The Plymouth Fury. All right, this is something else. This I seen this guy come in a second ago. Look at this 3100. 
1949 3100. Uh, 383 stroker engine. Gorgeous looking. Gorgeous, gorgeous looking truck. I can't really get a sunny side up with this one. Not too much anyway. But it looks black. Maybe it's a black pearl color. It's kind of purplish. The seats are phenomenal. Look how high the CD player is in that thing. And you got purse bags. That's pretty cool. Purse bags with locks on it. That's pretty wild. That is pretty wild. Got a Mustang Pony 59 model. Mustang Pony 59 model mo uh, motorcycle in the back. Oh, that's Alright, that ain't all, guys. That ain't all. That's Got this trailer as well. This little trailer is pretty freaking cool. Gotta show this trailer. It looks like he's got a DVD player and sound bar and a TV and an extra bed in here to hang out. Got a sunroof. Got a clock on the wall. Got an old telephone. This thing is pretty cool. Got an electric hookup. What the heck is this thing? This is wild. <laughs> got a kitchen sink. This thing has got everything but a bathroom. It might have a bathroom stored somewhere, maybe in that drawer right here. But holy crap, this thing is hooked up. This is wild looking. This is definitely wild. Got windows, see the bed and all that stuff. Got some pictures of all the, all the building he was doing with the truck and the trailer. This thing is set up, guys. You can live in that little bitty thing. Holy crap. A <laughs> bun toaster. <laughs> this thing has got everything but a bathroom now. And a lockbox for a treasure of some kind. That's pretty wild. <laughs> this thing is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> nice, uh, nice guy. This thing would be like the... Uh, your your dream your dream house on wheels. <laughs> oh, it's pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. There's a Ford Ranger. Now this is the big Ford Ranger, '69 model. Sweet setup. <laughs> Best thing I've seen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty cool. Now I've seen everything coming in, but. I didn't think anything about it until I look at it really well. And holy crap, that truck and trailer was set up. AM, FM radio on this thing. I don't what they do, what they, anybody could tell me what they use these lock boxes for. What the heck did they have in here? Like tire tools or something? Change the tire? Because it looks, I'm going to think the tire was, spare tire was underneath the bed. Uh, this is an eight-foot bed as well. Is that a Ford freaking Ranger? Yeah, it is. It's a it's a Ford Ranger 60 60 something model, 68 model. That's crazy. My old Ford Ranger. That's nice though. This thing is pretty cool. There you go, Ranger baby. Wow, this is pretty cool. You don't see too many uh, rangers of this kind. I'm going to call you Walt. Thanks for the follow. This is a custom C20. It's nice, nice C20 here with a small block V8. Custom camper. It's a toolbox I use to put tools or whatever stuff. Whatever you can put in there. Oh, okay. Okay. I was going to say, I don't think I've seen one of them yet. The American Racing Wheels. Nice looking wheels. Really good and polished. Aluminum. Another eight foot bed. Off wild. Now I, I can't show you too much of the race car, everybody around, but here's you a. Um, oh, this is going to be a street stock, not a not a modified. This is not an open wheel modified. It's street stock, dirt car. Not sure where he races at. Probably Paducah. That's where I'm going to say he races at. Nice looking. Uh, Nice looking dirt car. I haven't been to a dirt track race in a while now because I've been doing car shows instead. And it's kind of cool to see a dirt car every, from time to time. 
Now you got two of these, 62, and a, this is a 64. Holy crap! This thing is uh, definitely uh, definitely needs some tender love and care, but it's okay. It's on the road. It drove in here. This one here is the 62 model. All righty, look at that. Definitely another cool thing. They drove these cars in here. <laughs> Gotta love the Chevy Two Novas by far. Uh, let's see. That is everything that is here. If you've watched this entire live, you'd have seen everything here. Anybody got a vehicle they want to see and see more of? If you've seen a vehicle already, you want to see more of it, let me know in the chat. Appreciate everybody coming in. The Bertha tells us a story. <laughs> D Hug, thanks for the follow. Anybody got a vehicle they want to see? Because if it's here, I will show you more of it. Not a big deal. I am free. I done went through every car here. I usually show everything and any questions or comments. Other than that, that's all I usually do for car shows. Um, I don't hang out until I run out of battery or nothing like that. Unless I'm low on a battery already. Anybody got anything they want to see more of? Just give a holler in the chat. The Buick Regal next to my purple mini truck. You got the, all these guys are set up for stereo. These are all uh, demo vehicles for the stereo thing, kind of like a contest in a sense. red one all the way in the back um, there's a Camaro down this way or the deluxe are you talking about the deluxe it's, it's fine with me I can take you to the deluxe or the GTO there's a there's a Hemi back here too as well Appreciate everybody coming in today. It's actually a decent day without the sun beating down and heat. One that's near the, is that one near the building? Uh, the near the building is the Camaro um, SS, I believe, Z28. Camaro Z28 is all the way up against the great building. Uh, that's the very first car I showed besides the uh, stereo boys. Obscene Creations brought their uh, stereo vehicles to show in, in a demo earlier at the beginning of my life. They are done for now, so they're not going to be running their stereos while they're here in the parking spots for the show. And it looks like the uh, judges are probably just about wrapped up. I'll be going over their paperwork and do awards here shortly. As you can see, some of the cars that I've passed... The Malibu 57 Chevy, Chevy Nova, a couple of Mopar boys, there's a Jeep, another Nova, an Impala, you got the, the Nissan, Chevy Camaro, Silverado, or GMC Sierra, sorry, Corvettes. There's all kinds of vehicles here, different makes and models. Not everything, though. There are some, a few makes and models that are missing from this. Quite a few, probably, but that's all right. Still a good show. Nobody's seen the Cuda yet earlier from earlier on in my live. There's a 71 Cuda there in black. It's a cool-looking Cuda there. love the jet black color. See, this Z28 does not have the hood or the windows down. So all you can see is the front, the back, the sides. This is the one you're talking about. Z28, baby. It looks good. It's really good. I love it. The way this thing is, it looks super clean, super sharp. 
Got the tinted headlight covers, tinted taillight covers. Definitely can tell it's 90s. Yeah, buddy, I love this thing. This it looks good for this Camaro. I'm not a Camaro fan, uh, unless you're talking 69 Camaro, but I do like this one. I do like seeing this one. This is pretty cool. Thanks for the share, Mark. Martin and Kenny, thanks for the follow. But other than that, there she is. Love that, love that. Uh, somebody brought this in. I don't know if y'all want to see a, uh, not really a riding lawnmower because this thing don't have a mowing deck. But it sure is set up and built by somebody. And somebody wanted to build a, whatever this thing is. FC 540V, whatever that is. Overhead valve, da 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 da. da. That's a cool little build there. And the trophies, guys. The trophies are are NOS trophies. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. Souvenir stores. I'm not gonna take y'all shopping, so uh, sorry about it. Call those carbs a catfish. All right. Call them the catfish in. Oh, there's another judge there. Finished up. That 71 Cuda is just unbelievably sharp. Holy crap. You gotta love the Cuda. I haven't seen the spoiler in the back yet. It looks like snake skin for the, for the roof. That's wild looking. Some wild looking. I'm going to head out. Have a nice time in the car show. Thank you. I appreciate you coming in and hanging out with me, model. What's up, Sal? All right. Somebody just followed me. Hold on. They roll it, monster. What's up? Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. <laughs> How's it going, man? Where are you from? Where's everybody from, guys? Tell me where everybody's from while I'm just hanging out, walking around these cars. If you uh, just coming in, you kind of missed uh, basically the car show for me. And uh, I'll be getting something to eat and drink here shortly. Just about shook the water out of my freaking bottle with a cap off of it, walking around. Quebec. Well, welcome in. Welcome in. Quebec. You got Pasadena, Cali. What's up, California? Ooh, look at that Roadrunner. Is he not coming in? Roadrunner not coming in, guys. Roadrunner I have not seen yet. He's not coming in. Driving by. No problem, Roll. Appreciate everybody coming in. And meanwhile, uh, I'll put my phone on charge. I'm at 40%. Put my phone on charge. That way I'll have 100%. And I've got an hour and a half drive at 3 o'clock Central Time to get to the cruise in at 4.30 uh, for, uh, in Owensboro, Kentucky. So anybody near Owensboro, Kentucky, there is a uh, cruise in at uh, Ritzy's on 54 East Parish. Anybody would like to join, I'll be live there as well at approximately 5, 5.30. So tune in then. Appreciate everybody coming in. Feel free to uh, give me a follow if you haven't already. And everybody have a wonderful and blessed weekend. Everybody be safe, and uh, we'll see you again.